你有冇搞错呀？系，你有冇？诶，你有冇搞错？你有冇搞错？我笑到飞死咗。Good morning. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to Malaysia. The plan was actually to meet at 6:30. One of our friends was quite early. He reached around 6:15. At 6:20, he called to say, "Hey, I forgot my helmet." Now he's on his way back to take it, and we are just waiting for him. In the meantime, we have decided to get ourselves a coffee. Guan can tell us the story of how he told us that he forgot to bring his helmet. So what happened was that uh, I think. The long story short is that he called me first to tell me that he has arrived, only to call me 30 seconds later to tell me that the worst case scenario has happened. So I asked him, "What do you mean by worst case scenario? Is it raining?" And he said, "No, I forgot to bring my helmet." That's the end of the story. Yeah. It's only eleven, and they'll sell the helmet like five dollars. Is it free? Does it come with? I just said they will sell it. Selling five dollars. Like if they have that here, you can just go to the. My head too fucking big. I come back. Our friend who forgot his helmet is here. Hello guys. I clean up. Just a little bit of a delay here. It's a good day to go to Malaysia. We have some very promising weather coming up. Feels very cooling this morning. Hopefully it stays this way so we can ride until 4 p.m. But it's okay. We're gonna make up for lost time on the way. We're just gonna cut the route short, lah. Actually, we're not riding that fast. It's still gonna be chill. The initial plan was to go to Pontian for Wantan Mi and we were supposed to leave at 6.30 but we only crossed the border at 8 so due to some unforeseen circumstances we will probably cut the route a bit short. We are just going to turn around around 30 or 40k in and then we will find a place to eat breakfast. Happy, hopefully. Yeah, I mean that was the point of this whole thing after all. And then we'll just head back. Coffee sounds really good. Yeah, and KCY is buying us coffee because he forgot his helmet. <laughs> the good thing about doing a U-turn kind of method is we can just decide when we want to turn around and we don't really have to think too much about how to get back. in front of us and it looks like they have a support vehicle. Very nice. I Very want cool. a support vehicle. Mm. But I don't think we'll catch them. Yeah. Not very nice. We just drop behind the van. <laughs> we get the same benefit. <laughs> Is it nice to ride in Malaysia? It's like riding on Bartley in perpetuity. No traffic lights, just flyovers, continuous rolling, non stop. Are you buying breakfast? I buy you guys coffee because I'm late. It's okay. Thanks for planning the route. You can just follow the group in front. So we don't know our route for today. No freaking idea, dude. Just go. Hey, this could be quite fun now. Uh. We don't know the route for today. We just follow and see. Hey, when they're giving out drinks, we just... <laughs>
honest, uh, I also don't know where we're going now. I only know we roughly follow in the direction of Geylang Pata and Pontian. That's about it. You need to pee. You want a gel now? I still need to pee pee. You want a gel? Uh, later, later. We get some out to go in first. Where's the next? How does it uh, Whatever we see along. Say so, go and hate Pinto. Can you say that again? Say so, go and hate Pinto. I'm learning, I'm learning. Say so, young Pinto. Our first rest stop of the ride. I think we've done about 25k in and that was our first traffic light. After this, we'll probably go for food and hopefully find a nice place to have coffee. I think that's the whole main point of today's ride. Julian has gone to pee while the other two have gone in to buy drinks. I really like riding in Malaysia. I feel like you don't get so many traffic lights. The roads here are a lot wider and just continuous. Whereas in Singapore, you're just stopping every 500 meters for a traffic light. Road surface here on today's route is not too bad. It's quite smooth compared to the last time we did Malaysia when we went to Kulai. So I think it's a good choice. The initial plan was to go to Kota Tinggi, but then we thought that the route would be quite messy. So we decided to go west instead. So going west means that we go towards Bukit Indah, Geylang Pata and Pontian. Pontian is around 60k from the border. Because we're a bit short of time, we have decided that it makes more sense to just go towards the direction but then cut it short halfway, find a nice place to eat and drink and then head back. So that way we control our time a lot better. Without traffic lights, we're making good progress and rolling a lot faster. So that kind of helps also. And overall, the less you stop while riding, the more enjoyable it is. Also quite sick of riding in Singapore's roads because it's just the same thing over and over again. Which is why I think coming to Malaysia is so much nicer. Even if it means starting a little bit later. So I suggest, right, is now we look for somewhere relatively near to find breakfast. Oh shit, this one looks good. Where is my passport? Yeah, I think I can't I should have eaten the gel, eh? Yeah. 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 Dope, guys. These are the pork noodles that we came here for, right? Yes. <laughs> only, only I ordered it, the rest are betrayers. Where 
was just here to take a look at the store. It's quite nice though. We get to the hidden see, poison see, ourselves. Like, <laughs> see, the, see what it's like on the other side of the river. They sell map here. Yeah? And they have a lot of track also. They have stock for track. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I did. Like you're using the three small angle, go up here with big chain, and you're still like faster than all everyone. <laughs> Alright, now I know so much to buy. <laughs> what do you put in your handlebar bag? You got your phone, you got a tube just in case, you got a little bit of a special stash, and yeah. So you can wipe your ass if you have a good dump and some wet wipes just in case it gets messy. I can ask for a lot more, but it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. What do you think of the cafe? Oh, it's pretty nice having food. Oh, coffee is good. I don't think I can do better at home. So, I think what's good about it, right, is like, if you go to Malaysia, right, it's very near the custom, so it's like the way we used to stop for coffee. Yeah, right, right. At the end point. Yeah. He told us about the other cafe called Sweet Blossom. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And he says that one specializes in specialty coffee. You can put, you can test that out. So, you can try that next time. Yeah. We can make this a uh, every weekend activity. Oh, I guess that concludes our Malaysian adventure for this week. If you haven't checked out our Desaru video, you can check it out in the link above. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.